Hey cheeky monkeys, today in Backyard Squash we're doing some target practice. To do this we need some 100 mile an hour tape, paper cutout, a back fence, some squash balls in our racket. Check out the video attached and stay to the end for some bonus tips. Ciao! So here we are in my backyard with this routine. I use the 100 mile an hour tape to mark out a hexagon on my back fence and I've placed the paper target in the middle of that hexagon. I'm situated roughly eight meters away from the fence and the routine is a simple one, it's just trying to hit the target. It's all about trying to build accuracy, this routine, trying to hit your mark the key aspect of this is making sure that you've got your wrist up, your wrist cocked, your rack face should be open, and then you should be watching that ball on impact. Now the way I set this up was with 10 balls, i go hit the 10 balls. After that, we go pick them up and then go again so it's a it's a routine that hopefully will keep the kids entertained for a while if you've got a bit of space in the backyard what I was finding was when I was picking up the balls all the balls were fairly close to each other so it's not making a great big mess of the backyard and it's very squash specific. Yeah, if you've got kids doing this, you might have the kids start, say, four meters away from the target and then move them back a meter at a time. So as their accuracy is improving, you pull them back a meter or so and eventually, hopefully, they'll be hitting 60-70% of the shots from 8-9 metres back if you've got a big enough backyard. Now, the other thing I want to point out here is notice I'm, even though I'm only practicing in my backyard, I'm still wearing my eye mask eyewear, I'm still wearing my bandana, right down to my squash shoes and kit it up like I would be kitted up if I was going to play a match. Because we don't want to be going back on court in six months time or whenever the clubs are open and being having to get used to wearing uh, set equipment again, whether it be your eyewear or if you wear a bandana, wristband, whatever you, whatever you like to wear on court, you should practice in. One thing I'm doing there, if you have a look, is I'm kind of turning my whole body and, and lifting my head. The last one was a little bit better, but you want to be keeping your head in line with where you've impacted the ball throughout your swing. When we lift our head up, as I've mentioned in previous videos before, we tend to drag that shot across our body more. So a lot of these balls, they're coming out like a cross court. And it's purely just because I'm lifting my head. So I kept my head over the impact zone for a little bit longer. So the area where my racket's actually connected with the ball. A lot of these balls would be going a lot straighter. They'd be a lot closer to the target. Now, as a bonus tip, if you've got kids at home, I'd allocate points and make it a game between them. So I'd give the target itself 10 points, inside the hexagon 5 points, and then have a bit of a, maybe a best of 5 game with them where it's first to get say 50 or 100 points wins a game and you've got to win three games to, to win all up.
just little games like that might keep you entertained, keep your kids entertained for a bit longer, and hopefully they'll find it a bit of fun. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all back on the squash court soon. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for me. It just helps with the YouTube algorithm and will hopefully help get the video out to more budding squash players. Until next time, have a good one, have a good day, keep squashing, stay fit, and I'll see you all soon.